Hi everyone, it's Daria from scrummaster.com and today I have a great announcement. Finally, the retrospective poker cards arrived. These are no longer just prototypes. These are the actual retrospective poker card sets with the brochure, with the explanations of how to use the cards, brand new logo, new colors and actually better quality paper. I have this box. This one contains 50 sets and I wanted to unbox this together and show you what's inside okay so this is the box as you can see I have not opened it I have opened the other one with 50 cards and now we'll be opening this box here is the protective cover and here are all of the cards so let's pick one up each one of the card sets comes in a plastic bag to protect it I have only 100 sets in total and already 30 of those are gone. These are the cards. This is the new logo that I have designed. It still says Retrospective Poker. It has some of the icons from the cards themselves and the website. And these are the new cards. When you get them, they come with a little plastic strip that holds them together. First 20 cards are the actual cards, the Retrospective Poker cards with a beautiful logo on the other side. Look at these cards, they're very shiny. They have very good strength in them and they have very beautiful print. It's very clear, it's very crisp. The colors are beautiful and the cards themselves are very good quality. So looking at the set itself, we have 20 of the cards, you already know them. These are the actual cards you will be using with your teams. The next four cards are the general information, how-tos. Have a different design, so it's easy to find these cards in the deck. One of the cards will be telling you how to use the cards, how to choose techniques, engaging the team, as well as playing the roulette version of that. The next is general guidelines, basically how do you run any retrospective steps that you would go through for any retrospective technique in the main deck. Then it gives you some tips on different types of voting techniques that you can use. I also put in some sources of inspiration. Where did I get my ideas? I took some of the ideas from already existing techniques and kind of modified them to go into the actual retrospective techniques that can be used with your teams. And the last set, it's 20 cards. And basically each of those goes with the retrospective technique in the main deck. And this one explains you exactly what do you need to do on this technique. It gives you a step-by-step -step guide of how to do that. It also gives you some tips on how much time you need for different of those. And then on this side, you actually have image that explains how it would look like on the board. If you need to prepare something, now you know you need to have three columns to discuss, discussing and discussed. Each of those cards, if I turn them over, will actually give you the information on those. For example, categories, right? It gives you how that would look like and whether you need to have different colors of nodes to follow through with this technique. You can take this set with you, you can take this set with you. This would be the set that you can give to your team to choose the technique to work with. And this is your cheat sheet. And this is the set, this is how it looks like. Total is 44 cards. 20 techniques and other cards or explanations and then you have your own plastic container where you can put your cards in dirty you know that your cards won't go anywhere you have everything you need in one of the sets but it's not all i'm still writing the book retrospective as crown master's guide and it will be a great addition to these cards it will have the information on the same techniques that are in the card deck, but it will go into much more detail. It will give you specific speaking cues to help your team understand how the technique is going to go or what to tell them to explain the technique a little bit better. It will give you information on how to modify the same techniques in a new way to discuss topics slightly differently or to even to discuss new topics under the same structure as in this 20 techniques. So so technically you get not only 20 techniques, you get an extra just because you have different modifications in the book. 
The book also will contain facilitator's notes on the techniques, basically something that I have found during running those retrospectives with my teams, maybe different challenges or problems I've seen, and as well as some of the ideas of how to help the team progress through those and have a successful retrospective. I will also add some additional advice into the book about how to overcome common challenges with any retrospective and how to make regular activities such as brainstorming more engaging by changing the way you collect the ideas. And last but not least, I will be adding information about the situations in which each of those techniques is the most effective, as well as what team maturity level is the best to get the results you need out of each technique. Some of the techniques might be more effective in certain situations over certain teams, and this is what I'll be talking about in the book. Remember that I only have a limited amount of cards available right now, and I don't know yet when I'll be ordering another batch. I will be announcing when the cards are officially out for sale to my newsletter subscribers first, so make sure you subscribe at scrummastered.com. I am going to put the link in the description and somewhere in the video. You can also follow me on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Twitter, where I also will be announcing the release of the cards, but a little bit later from my newsletter subscribers, because I want to give my newsletter subscribers a little bit more time to decide, shoot me an email or leave a comment, and I will get back to you and answer all of the questions you have. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the cards, I'm going to put a link into the description or somewhere in the video to the page that gives a little bit more detailed explanation about what these cards are and how you can use them with your teams to engage them in your retrospectives and to make your retrospectives awesome. I hope to see you next time. Cheers and scrum on! Retrospective cards! Such a child. That is my set, don't worry. I'm not selling this one.